Oh, hey, I didn't hear you come in. Welcome. My name is Dave, and today we're going to talk about DV Film Raylight for Mac and using it to edit your MXF files. And cut. <laughs> that was horrible. Uh, let's do it again. No, no, I think we got it. Now, once you've shot your footage on your P2 camera like this HVX200, then you're ready to copy your footage and begin your edit. So, hand your camera off to your trusty assistant cameraman and have him take it to your laptop or desktop computer. Connect your HVX200 through Firewire or USB to your Mac laptop. Also, connect an external hard drive to your Mac laptop. Now you can transfer your movie files into your laptop and back them up to your hard drive. The P2 card from your camera will appear as a new drive on your desktop. Use your Mac and the P2 CMS software that's free from Panasonic to back up the card onto the laptop hard drive and rename the clips. Fill in any metadata items such as program name, user clip name, and give a name to the P2 card, which is the volume name. Once loaded onto the laptop hard drive, the P2 content can be copied to an external drive that will go to the editor. PA! Thank you very much, PA. Now go get me a cup of coffee. We're going to take our hard drive and we're going to attach it to our Mac desktop. Now, the advantages of Raylight over Final Cut Pro's log and transfer, first of all, speed. The amount of time it takes you to log and transfer one clip you can scan your entire P2 card with Raylight and be up and editing. In addition, Raylight provides you with a metadata slate on either frame one or two of each clip. This is gonna help you to keep things organized. All right, let's get started. Open Raylight for Mac and prepare to scan the drive. If you're going to edit from the external drive, we recommend that the P2 card images be organized on that drive. In the general options, you should select the Store Links in Same Location as Source Files option. Raylight will do just that and put the reference files with the source MXFs. Or Raylight will scan the user clip name, volume name, and program name if you select those options. The shots will automatically be organized into Best Movie Ever folder in the Raylight folder. Inside the Best Movie Ever folder, there will be a My Shoot Day 1 folder, which is the name of the P2 card. Inside the My Shoot Day 1 folder will be a number of .mxf.mov Raylight link files. If the drive is moved to another computer, the links will still function as long as the structure of the drive is not changed and the volume name of the drive is not changed. Also, the other computer does not need to have Raylight installed because once the link files are created, they are completely handled by QuickTime without help from Raylight. Now that your Raylight link files are created, you can import them into Final Cut Pro and immediately begin editing. And done. Perfect. So now that you have your completed film, you can use Raylight P2 Maker to make new P2 cards from Final Cut Pro. Let's give it a shot. Export a QuickTime movie from Final Cut Pro or Drop any DV, DVC Pro, DVC Pro HD, or DVC Pro 50 QuickTime into the Raylight window. The P2 Maker drawer will open. Enter any metadata you wish to be stored in the card or press import data to copy metadata from an existing .xml clip file. Press start in the drawer to start the conversion to P2 card format. The card image will be stored in the Raylight slash P2 cards folder. Raylight P2 Maker is handy because it enables you to transfer your finished film back to your HVX200 and use it as a display device. If you attach it to an HDTV or HD projector, you get full quality HD without the DVD compression artifacts. Thanks for watching this DV Film Raylight for Mac tutorial. For more information, go to our website at www.dvfilm.com.